In this video, I'll show you how to set up your own REST endpoint in Talent, uh, which can take uh, inputs from external world uh, and then uh, pass that input uh, request. And based on that uh, request type, you can actually perform certain database operations as well. And uh, then the uh, response would be provided back. So in order to support this, um, I have just taken an example of you know card activation and deactivations, right? Uh, which will actually take uh, the card number as an input. And based on that number, uh, if the card was found, it will do an uh, activation or deactivation based on the request type and uh, it will provide the response back to uh, the requester. So let's get started and see how uh, this works. So for this uh, example, I have taken, uh, I have created a sample table here called cards. Uh, it will have uh, two columns, uh, card number and the status. And I have made some uh, dummy uh, records into this particular table, right? So here is the uh, output of the table. Um, so I have two card numbers uh, which are in activated state. Uh, so let's use this table and um, you know perform activation and deactivation. So I'm on my talent studio. Uh, if you go to palette and type for uh, uh, rest, uh, you will see several um, you know uh, component recommendations. So one of that will be uh, rest request and rest response. So we'll be using uh, these two rest request and rest response uh, in order to set this up, right? I have already pulled the T request. Um, already here and I have a T Java row and then the pre job I am actually establishing uh, SQL Server connections and please note this is one of the ESB feature uh, within Talon uh, whenever you have your T request uh, T rest request component the job uh, will be running in the background uh, forever until you uh, you know kill or due to some other you know, environment issue it gets killed so the job will be running and it will be uh, requesting uh, the input parameters, um, you know, from the, uh, you know, requester, right? So how do we create uh, the request endpoint is based on uh, when you double click on this REST request, you will see at the very first point you will see is REST endpoint. Right here you can use uh, either your um, system name. In my case, my computer name is Rohan PS or else you can even use uh, local host here. Right, so let me just go ahead and use uh, my computer name and this is the default port you can keep it or you can change the port number as well which is fine uh, in order to uh, simulate this uh, exercise you know properly I have created an um, uh, endpoint called as user right so this will be my uh, rest endpoint and how do we um, if you have multiple you can have multiple operations within uh, one endpoint, right? It can have multiple API mappings, right? So for that, I have what I have done is I have created two such uh, API mappings already. So one is for the activation and deactivation, right? Let me show you how uh, this was, you know, created. You just click on uh, plus symbol here, right? You can uh, click on this small button, and then probably you can call it as you know status, probably. So which will actually give a pop up saying what will be the column name right you know so you can just give card number as your uh, column number because based on a uh, certain card number only we do all the operations right so i have now a uh, newly created status and by default http verb will be get uh, we'll just leave it as is so get means it will um, get the request from um, you know the external uh, uh, requester right so the URI pattern here is um, so by default you will have your URI pattern you know looking at the root element uh, what uh, we will have to do in this case is uh, just type in uh, status slash and since we have given the column name as card number we will just uh, put that card number within the this uh, curly braces Right, so that's all is required on this, um, um, you know, this REST request uh, component. Make sure you uh, follow this properly, otherwise uh, these will not um, be you know, honored. So your endpoint, uh, there is no slash, but for your URI patterns, you should have, you know, slash. Right, so this is how you will create um, one, um, you know, API mapping for activate and deactivate status. And if you have multiple, you can create as many as much, you know, you want. 
so that's all um, there's nothing on the advanced I'm just leaving uh, all other options as is so there's no change here right so this um, finishes the setup of uh, rest request and um, rest response side what I want to do is I uh, will return the body type as string because I, I don't want to really complicate things with the XML output or you know document JSON document so we'll just keep it as string and the schema for this will always be a body uh, which you cannot change we'll just keep it as is um, and uh, what uh, I would do is so when you do a right click uh, you get under row you will get uh, activate deactivate and status right so let's go ahead and choose activate and we will connect it to um, you know this uh, T Java row component you can just click no because uh, this is already you know present so click OK so now uh, the activation um, you know link is connected so within this uh, what I will do is um, if you notice uh, these are just junk uh, so if you notice uh, the schema here the input is card and the output is only body right so what I'm uh, trying to do here is I have uh, created two context variables one with one for card number uh, another for saving the SQL query right we will frame that SQL query and then pass it to a DB row component okay so let's use uh, those two context variable we will set the incoming card number from the rest request into card number and SQL query uh, I have written a regular you know update uh, SQL command update card set uh, the status equal to activated where the card number is the input row card number I hope this is now clear uh, you can pause the video and probably get this uh, statement copied over right and just for the sake of easiness uh, I will be printing the actual SQL query so that uh, we can know in case uh, the SQL query is not working we will get to know easily uh, whether it is you know working or not so our SQL query is now ready right so with this SQL query is ready and um, for sending the response back what I'm going to do is uh, output dot row uh, output underscore row dot body equals I'm saying the request for the card card number is complete right I'm, I'm pulling the card number from the context uh, variable here so uh, this will be my response uh, you know when uh, the request is made okay so that's all uh, only the card number and then the SQL query we are generating and we are sending the uh, response back right so this response uh, should be connected using a row component right so that's how it will work uh, if we are connecting for the very first time you will get a pop-up called in yes or no just click on yes so which will bring the you know body um, you know the schema here back right so that's all uh, is required for your uh, you know activation all right so let me do the same thing for uh, deactivation part uh, uh, let me quickly you know make that change uh, actually before we do that uh, let me pull the uh, db row uh, component as well so i'll pull this db row this db row will be used for um, you know updating um, updating the card status right so we will make use of an existing connection which is created in the pre job right uh, instead of uh, sending it this way what I'm going to do is I'm ju I'll just put context dot SQL query so we already have the SQL query which we have built in uh, the Java row right so the same uh, context variable I'm using here so this will have the update query uh, which will go ahead and uh, run it when whenever we uh, you know process whenever we process the uh, rest request right so we will connect it using uh, run on component ok so this is how this is now connected so now the activate um, flow is uh, done let me uh, complete the deactivate part and show you quickly so I have added uh, another flow for deactivation right it's exactly the same um, all we are trying to do is at the endpoint 
and then the mapping i am not using the status as of now we will just these two uh, test these two right so after that uh, t java row i am just printing and setting the context variables and from there i am um, you know using uh, the rest response i am sending back the response right and uh, on this db row i am directly using the context variable right so this is exactly same on uh, the deactivate part also so that's all so let me go ahead and run it so unlike any other uh, talent jobs right you know this uh, particular job with rest uh, request will be running all the time right you know un unless you hit uh, kill uh, this particular job will be uh, keep on running right and also you can see this endpoint is deployed on my local host on this port and this is the endpoint <clears throat> right so in order to hit this endpoint uh, what uh, we will be doing is uh, we have a tool called postman it's uh, freely available uh, over the internet right you can make use of this uh, tool called postman uh, using which we can make uh, all the rest api calls right so i have uh, just created this um, you know new request and uh, using the get method uh, what i'm passing is i am using my same endpoint and all I'm trying to do is activate, right? Uh, you remember uh, we have these, um, you know, API and you know, endpoints already created one for activate, deactivate and status, right? So I'm just using um, activate since our um, SQL table uh, is already having activated. So let's do one thing. Um, let's deactivate, right? I am going to deactivate using my uh, user endpoint and the card number is one two three four right so we have a card number called one two three four it's currently activated uh, let me go ahead and click uh, send and if you can see uh, the status 200 which is successful and uh, the request is request for the card number so and so is complete right so this is the response all right so let's go back and check now the status is one two three four deactivated right so now let me pass uh, four five six seven and then send this is complete right now the other uh, card is also deactivated right the similarly you can make use of activation urls uh, i'm going to activate the four five six seven which is now activated right and the last one is one two three four right this request is complete and both are activated right so i hope this is now clear um, if you have any questions please feel free to you know send me a comment uh, in the youtube uh, you know comment section i'll try to answer whenever i get some time um, that's all i had for today thank you guys and uh, happy learning